I get shipments of oboes and I'm, you know, I just, I learned how to make reeds for those oboes and I send it back to them with reeds. So I have a couple of those here. So, and as soon as I posted on my website that, um, that I have this oboe and that I'm making reeds for it, I got a couple of in inquiries from people who have these oboes randomly sitting around sort of like in the closet or, or they've been restored or they don't know what to do with them. They go, hey, can I get some reeds for that? Okay, sure. So that's that. I also keep some supplies in these drawers. Uh, packing my reeds, I use these little guys. Um, we call them reed coffins, which is sort of a silly name. But uh, it's just these little plastic boxes, just the right size for reeds. And put a piece of foam in there, and it fits a Baroque oboe reed really well, um, which is great because they're a little bit longer than modern reeds. So I can put that in there or a modern reed and they'll stay safe. And I put those in one of those priority boxes and put a little bubble wrap and they're good to go. The other thing about, about Baroque oboe reed making is the tubes have to be wrapped at the bottom. So uh, my roommate recently discovered this really great waxed linen thread from a bead store in Boston got a whole bunch of it so I've been wrapping the the bottoms of my of my Baroque oboe reeds with this waxed thread and it's I like that a lot. I don't color coordinate reeds. Um, I do have a couple of colors that go to specific destinations. Um, these orange reeds are, are specifically slated for um, one oboe store um, that gets orange reeds. Same with the green. They'll, they'll probably end up going there too. Uh, other than that, I mean, I just try to keep it interesting, you know. I think any oboe player, one of the joys of making reeds is getting a new reed thread color. <laughs> it's fun. I use the FF nylon thread. There's a, there are, there's information about historical reeds and materials using like linen thread, cotton thread, different types of thread, and, and I guess I could experiment with using a different type of thread that's maybe more historically correct, but I think most most players are more most interested in in 